I've got two engines here. I have a Predator 212cc engine and I have a Predator 212cc engine. Both of these are sold by Harbor Freight and they are quite different engines. One of them is known as the Hemi, one is the non-Hemi. Let's take a look at these two engines right after this snazzy little intro. Tillotson and a Predator, both 212cc engines. Doing an intro, I'm doing an intro, doing an intro now. Isn't it neat? Doing an intro, cause I'm doing an intro, I'm doing an intro now. Look at my feet. Well that was definitely interesting. What are the physical differences that you can see between the two engines? If you want to say, do I have a Hemi or do I have a non-Hemi? Well, with these two engines, I'm going to be taking a look at two specific part numbers. 69730 and 60363. So the first thing is physical characteristics. How do I know if I have a non-hemi? Well, how do I know if I have a hemi? The very first thing that you'd be taking a look at would be the valve cover, and that's this guy down here. The valve cover on the non-hemi is going to be shinier and in an octagon. The valve cover in the hemi is going to be more rectangular and cast material. It's going to be a dull finish. What's the difference between the mufflers? Well, the non-hemi seems to have a screen guard on it, whereas the hemi actually has what appears to be a spark arrestor and spark arrestor materials inside of the hemi. Now, that muffler could come in handy when you're working in uh, woods, wood forestry service use. Big. Now, believe it or not, some actual forestry service regulations prohibit an engine from entering if it does not have a spark arrestor. So that Hemi engine, check and make sure that that's going to be meeting your guidelines. Air filter boxes. The Hemi appears to have a two-stage air filter and we're looking at pleats underneath a foam top and with the non-Hemi we just have a chunk of foam. Where can you get the Hemi versus the non-Hemi? Some of these engines are only sold in certain locations throughout the United States. They are not distributed to the same states for both of them. For example, where I live in Minnesota, you can no longer come across the Hemi without quite a bit of searching. So it took me a little bit to get this Hemi engine. The non-Hemi though is very easy for me to come by. If you notice my other builds, like the 9000 RPM budget build, it's done with the non-Hemi. You take a look at some of the projects that I'm working on. Um, no idea if I'll get the world record, but that's aside. You'll see that I'm working with non-hemi engines. They're just easier to come by for me. Both of them will allow for certain upgrades to them. Big, where the hemi may fit certain clone cams for your performance build, the non-hemi can fit a variety of flywheels. Now, I have a stock non-hemi flywheel, I have a PVL that is supposed to be both PVL and clone, and I have a clone three magnet flywheel to add a charging system. I also have another flywheel that has an electric start. And when I do a lapping test on a crankshaft that I pulled out of one of my other non-hemis that I'm doing a build with, you'll see on the lapping test that with a little bit of lapping work, I can fit all of these flywheels on there very easily. When you look at the Hemi engine, that's not the case. Uh, and you see a lot of people saying, does not work with Hemi, does not work with non-Hemi. There's a bit of confusion as to what flywheels will work, but just note that the tests that I have and the videos that I have coming up, the non-Hemi is going to be working with the charging coils, I'm going to be putting some LED lights, some wiring harnesses, that future stuff with the non-Hemi. Now, the Hemi, uh, very important note, if you have a Hemi and you put it on a mini bike or a go-kart, uh, you can definitely brag and say it's got a Hemi on it, which is most definitely one of the reasons why you're purchasing the Hemi. So let's take a look at some results coming off of a dyno. When you use a dyno though, I'm gonna give you this little bit of precursor. My dyno can be different from somebody else's dyno. It's cold here with dry air, 65 degrees, very dry environment when these things were being run. There are a few different factors, elevation even coming into play. Just note that I've compared this with a few other people. I'm off by about 5%, give or take, on some of these numbers. But the comparison between the two engines remains the same. So when we're looking at the 69730 engine, the non-Hemi engine, out of box, we've got the same maximum RPM between the two of them, 3,600 RPM. 
However, we've got a little bit less horsepower coming out at the non-Hemi, but it is going a little bit faster when getting that horsepower. The Hemi appears to be kicking out a little bit more horsepower just directly out of the box between these two engines. The throttle stop screw removed, however, it looks like we're getting a little, just a hint more power coming out of that non-Hemi versus the Hemi. And we're running at 4,150 RPM as opposed to 3,650 RPM. So more torque is coming out of the Hemi versus the, that higher RPM. This is just a curiosity that the, the spark arrester in the exhaust and the back pressure is actually contributing to a difference in the power curve as well as the piston top. The Hemi, by, by name, uh, the Hemi head is a very flat top and the non-Hemi has an indentation in it. What does this translate into real world use though? You have some dyno numbers. This is the same dyno, the same day, the same operator, the same location, and you have a comparison between the two. So obviously, this one is much faster. No. Uh, you put it on a go-kart and stuff. This one is the one that you want on your snow thrower. I can't really validate for snow thrower um, differences with that. If you really want to give a, a, a piece of industrial equipment a boost, really do check out my TCT carburetor video. That is an amazing little carburetor when it comes down to torque. And I'm putting one on my snow thrower and I've got a few extras. Beautiful torque boost on things. When you put both of these in a real world scenario, let's take a look at a real world scenario. Oh, come on. What's it up, Donkey Kong? Oh, you want to go? You want to go, Donkey Kong? That's what's up, Donkey Kong! Oh, yeah! Come on! Get some! Uh, a go-kart or a minibike or a uh, race wheelbarrow, whatever it may be, uh, you've got really no difference between the two of them. Um, I've been doing engine swaps between the two of them this summer. And I, I couldn't tell you the difference. I've asked quite a few other people that couldn't really tell you the difference. Over the past couple of years with these two engines and these two numbers, I only have heard of a couple people uh, with kart racing, the box stock racing, they will only run the Hemi. And I haven't heard anybody who only runs the non-Hemi. In multiple online forums, I've heard more complaints, about three times as many complaints about the Hemi engine versus the non-Hemi as far as performance reliability goes. The, their push power, the power curves, if you put it on a go-kart or a mini bike, I couldn't tell you the difference between the two of them. If I put either one of these onto snow thrower, log splitter, rototiller, whatever that may be, and I'm looking to get a difference with power gain, I'm going to change something up on the carburetor side of it or some, some other adjustments. Uh, if I'm doing something where it's just out of the box, but maybe I want some charging coil to it, I want to try some different, different uh, updates, and I will hopefully have a video soon about that as well. I'm gonna be going with the non-Hemi. If I can't get one in my location, I'm just gonna get the one that I can get. Part availability between the two for performance parts, is just about the same. I just finished online searches between the two and it's pretty easy to come by. The, the only difference again really being that the non-performance build for the clone flywheel and the three magnet flywheel charging coil system. So that's really all I have for you. Um, they're two engines. They're both 212 cc engines. Uh, they're both used for the same applications. There isn't uh, much else to them that I can let you know, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.